Hey world, I'm here to share with you my bootleg Yama iced coffee dripper, uh, the Kyoto iced coffee uh, dripper style. Yes, I realize this is bootleg and ugly, but if you're like me and you're just looking for function over form, you didn't want to pay like $250 to try out this dripper iced coffee, this is what I came up with and the end result ended up being about 85 to 90 bucks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run you through how I made it and then uh, show you how it works. Um, it's pretty simple. First thing is basically this part which is just a food grade bucket um, from Rubbermaid. Six quarts. Bigger than it needs to be. Um, but it works. I needed something food grade. Then we got a food grade funnel from NoPro. It was a set of three. That was uh, five bucks, and the last two things, really, really ugly here, um, are a uh, Barrett stop clock, stop cock plunger. That was the hardest part to find. I'm gonna put links to all of this um, in the description. I got it all on Amazon. But once I came up with this, is really what brought it all together this barrette stop clock stop cock plunger that was eight bucks and fifty cents or so and then some food grade silicon was a tube of that was eight bucks so i used basically what i did cut a hole in the bottom of this bucket and then sealed in the uh funnel um, with the food grade silicon and then uh the plunger uh, it has o-rings and a stop you know you jam it in there you jam it into the funnel it didn't quite fit if I had to do it all over again maybe I would have used a heat gun or some boiling water and tried to get the funnel to expand I actually made a really embarrassing video of myself making this and decided to not put it out there because it was ugly and uh, embarrassing so anyway and then I loaded this all up with food grade silicone ridiculously uh, to keep it from sealing. Oh, and I had to, rather than heat it up, I cut it back a little bit, the funnel, the bottom of the funnel, to get this to fit. Uh, I really think with a little more persuasion, uh, I could have made it work. So, and then uh, the wood here was, it's poplar, I spent more than I really needed to. You could probably find some free wood, um, make out of anything, it's really not relevant. I spent like 25 bucks making this because I wanted it to look halfway decent. Although I ended up cutting a really ugly hole in the top for this uh, with a jigsaw. Tried to do it with a hole saw and that broke. And that's when I stopped making the making of video because I was so angry. So anyway, and then the last part is a six cup Chemex. Uh, we got this for like 35 bucks at our local coffee shop. So uh, obviously, unlike the uh, Yama Tower, it doesn't have the spirally thing at the bottom, um, the glass, and it's not glass, it's plastic. But, uh, you know, I saved about 160 bucks, so it is what it is. And I've run through this once and it does work, so uh, let's see. I've already pre-wetted the uh, Chemex filter. I'm also going to be using a uh, uh, four cup um, regular Mr. Coffee filter, and I'll show you how in a second. But the first time through, I ran it at 90 grams of coffee to 960 grams of water. If you're wondering why 960 grams of water, it's because when I sealed this in, not all of, it's not flush, so not all of the water flows through the funnel. So what I did is let it drain completely, see, and then I weighed the water that was left behind. It was about 60 grams. Um, that yielded a not crazy concentrated but decently concentrated uh, batch but it didn't yield nearly as much as it, I had hoped. I was hoping that it would make it to the wood neck uh, but it didn't. So this time I'm going to see what happens with uh, 
1260 grams of water and um, so I got that here ice water got the stockpock stopcock uh, closed to go ahead and pour this in So as you can see, the uh, bucket's really much bigger than it needs to be, but I left some room here to maybe get a bigger Chemex someday, and uh, then you could use more water. Do more, uh, do a bigger batch. I'm gonna go ahead and let that four cup thing get wet too. Got my 90 grams of coffee uh, that I just ground. Put that in here and then shake it out get it nice and flat and then the reason you want this uh, wetted filter on top of the grounds is just to ensure a, an even distribution of, uh, of the water when it drips through so you go ahead and put this down you could also cut uh, a Chemex filter or cut this down but I really think I get pretty good contact uh, with this I find it actually it's just about a perfect fit a four cup normal percolator Mr. Coffee type uh, paper filter so the only thing really left to do is uh, toy with the dripping which uh, it can be a bit of a pain because it changes as the water level drops. You've got less pressure. It can change. You sort of have to keep an eye on it. Um, but they say normally about a drop in every, every second and a half. That's a little tough to pull off, but I don't mind going a little higher than that because I really don't want it to stop. So... And honestly, like this brews for quite some time. So this will probably end up taking till close till morning. It's uh, nine, almost 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and it will probably be ready, I would say about six in the morning, which uh, is a little longer than I'd like it to take, but it is what it is. So we'll be back when we have a finished product. There is my silly idea for uh, bootlegging a Yama Tower. Okay, it's the next morning and we've got our yield here and it was um, a little more than I expected and it's going to be tough to see but it went well above the uh, ring here so 1260 was way too much for this in terms of water. I don't know why 960 uh, wasn't so bad so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this but you can see you know, let's pull this out it's not terribly high but I'd say the bottom up to about here was uh, immersed in the um, in the brew and the concentrate still so this probably not going to taste as great as it could I'm gonna pitch this really quick So, so this probably is, so this probably isn't going to taste as great as it could just because uh, too much water and then the ground sitting in immersed. I really can't go any higher than here. So I think I need to cut it down to maybe um, 1060, 1100, something like that, and see where that gets me. My goal is really to get it to about here. But the point is. This is uh, a working concept, it's just a matter of dialing in um, the uh, amount of water and grounds you want to use. Um, so there's really no point in the video of showing you a bunch of tests. Uh, 1260 too much, 960 was a little too little, so maybe uh, mess around with about 90 grams of coffee and uh, 1060 grams of water, maybe 1100, 1120, somewhere in there. But uh, I'm gonna pour this over ice, come back and let you know at least how this tastes. Um, just 
briefly. I didn't want to use particularly good coffee for this, so uh, it's the uh, Private Selection Kona Blend, and it's not a bad coffee uh, from Kroger. Um, I think they own several other uh, coffee or uh, grocery store chains. So I'll be back um, and tell you how this tastes. Okay, this has been on ice for a little while. Um, looks a little thin, but not too bad. Um, smell is very much that uh, iced coffee smell, sort of chocolatey. And the taste is... a little on the weak side. Definitely too much water in this batch. Uh, probably dial it back. Um, I might just stick with the 900 960 because of the uh, extra water to 90 grams um, that tasted pretty good this on the ice tastes pretty weak so only way for me to yield to the bottom of the brown thing the, the wood part of the Chemex and also um, have it taste decent it would be to add more grounds I think like if you wanted to make it, if you wanted to get up to there and you, you needed to do probably a hundred or so grams of coffee instead of only 90 uh, to 1,060 uh, grams of water. But enough of that, uh, 1,260 too much. This is the bootleg Yama Tower. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you have any questions. Please subscribe.